everybody. Let's talk about Wolf by Wolf by Ryan Grodin. Grodin, maybe? I really don't know. Wolf by Wolf is historical fiction, but it is an alternate history in which Hitler won the war. <laughs> Yael is our main character. I can only picture Yael from Jane the Virgin. She's the only Yael I've ever heard of and I love her so much. But anyway, book Yael was taken to a camp as a young child. She was tortured, experimented on, and she's now 17, living underground as part of the resistance plotting Hitler's assassination. Every year the Axis Tour is held, which is a motorcycle race from Berlin to Tokyo to commemorate the Axis powers win. Something like the Olympics of Hitler world. Yael's plan is to impersonate a racer named Adele and execute Hitler publicly when she wins. Good plan. And this is where an element of fantasy comes into it, aside from the whole Hitler ruling the world thing. The experiments performed on Yael were chemical injections meant to turn her into an acceptable Aryan, lightened her hair, her skin, her eyes, but eventually those chemicals altered her internal makeup so much she developed the ability to morph her features into another face entirely. This is how she's able to impersonate Adele and get into the tour detected. The book follows her struggles with the race itself, along with the struggles of dealing with the people around her who think she's someone she isn't. It also flashes back to her time in the camp. It's haunting and the race scenes are very edge of your seat. Uh, it's like fast-paced, cutthroat, dangerous cross-country motorcycle action, and then you're thrown back into a death camp through the eyes of a six-year-old. Those scenes weren't dominant. They're just placed throughout the main action of the story to show you what's driving her. Driving her through the motorcycle race. Most of the story is focused on the race, and it seriously had my heart pounding, especially toward the end. There were a few times I had to put the book down, walk away, and do something else entirely because I just couldn't handle it. But it was so good. I've always been really captivated by stories of World War II. It was so horrifyingly recent. We as human beings in the 20th century should have been beyond the horrors we inflicted on each other during that war. And I was a little wary of reading an altered history in which Hitler's reign of terror was used for entertainment and adding shapeshifters into the mix. But this book really surprised me. It was written with so much heart. Nothing about it was disrespectful. And the shapeshifting thing was not written as some sort of cool fantastical element. It was the result of torture. It also represented the way Yael lost her identity in that camp. She couldn't even remember her own face. There's also an author's note at the end of the book where Ryan talks about Hitler's absurd ideas of a superior perfect race, and she liked the idea of highlighting how irrelevant race is. Yael can shift into anyone's skin. She is still the same person inside, but when she has dark hair, she's risking being imprisoned, whereas she takes on Adele's blonde hair and blue eyes, and she's their perfect little darling. It really highlights the absurdity of the Nazi ideals of racism in general. And it was also an interesting way to let her infiltrate the ranks and get close to Hitler. It really provided some interesting interactions. The character dynamics in this book were really fascinating. I am an excellent judge of character, if I do say so myself. If you can't be trusted, I will know within minutes of meeting you. And I'm never wrong. With the exception of Dangerous Girls by Abigail Haas, read it. I've never been wrong. I've made a couple misjudgments in reality. I have good instincts about fictional characters. But these people threw me off so much in this book, two characters in particular. I spent the whole book trying to figure them out. Can we really trust them? What are their motives here? My good instincts were useless. I just couldn't, I couldn't figure them out. And I think this is because Yael is also trying to figure them out. She has spent a long amount of time studying Adele's life, but there's only so much you can learn through studying and observation, so many things that are not on the record to be studied, and uh, she's thrown into the middle of this race with these people who know Adele so well. She's trying to figure out if she can really trust them. She doesn't know all of the history there. So she's trying to navigate through this race and through these people, and we as readers are trying to figure everything out with her. And it's frustrating not to have all of that information, but it was, it made for some really interesting reading. One thing I wish had been included in the book, maybe a map, of their race on these blank end pages. We get the description of the race from Berlin to Tokyo, but it just, it would have been nice to see it all visually laid out for us. That's really my only criticism of this book. Um, there was no map designer. <laughs> I give Wolf by Wolf an A+. Fantastic book. I would love to hear your thoughts on Wolf by Wolf, and I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Bye!